Look at this right here. Can you read that? Jason Morris. Man, it is custom filters. Look at this too. Ready? Ready? You, you ready? Boom. Magnetic filters that go on the front of your lens by Freewell. Let's get into this video. What's going on guys? My name is Jason Morris. Today we're going to be talking about these things right here. Filters for your regular camera lens, whichever brand you go for, obviously whichever size you go for, photographers, videographers, content creators, YouTubers, this is for you. They are magnetic filters that go on the front of your lens. Holy sh, this is awesome. The good thing is that on the inside, it has a UV filter. So that's the thing that screws onto your lens. And then that is magnetic that you can attach ND filters, uh, polarizing filters and whatnot onto the front. And obviously the lens cap, the magnetic lens cap. This is a damn good design. I absolutely love the magnetic lens cap. How many times you've got the ND filter on the front and it's a pain in the ass to get the ND, the, 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 the lens cap on, if you can get the lens cap on. I know some brands you can't actually fit the lens cap on, you've just gotta throw it straight in your bag the way it is, or take the ND filter off, unscrew it, and then put the lens cap back on. Pain in the ass, especially if you're a wedding photographer or videographer, I feel your pain, it sucks. But in this video, we're just gonna do a quick unboxing to see what you get in this box and a little bit of a tutorial on how to use these ND filters and polarizing filters and what's it used for. Okay, well let's uh, hop into the box and see exactly what comes inside. So we'll just open up the ND1000 box right here. Very well packaged, you can see my name on the front. Um, because there is one thing that I showed at the start and it is, uh, we'll, get, we'll get into that, we'll get into that. <laughs> Hold your horses. Let's see what's in here. So we'll open this up. Nice little black envelope. Let's see what's inside of the black envelope. We've got a filter guide, which is fantastic because this gives you uh, an idea of what the filters do, how many stops of ND um, they actually have, and obviously the clear night filter and all that stuff. Um, really good information uh, for people who don't actually know what some of the filters do. Now, cleaning cloth, always good to have extra cleaning cloths. We got, try and pick it up off the floor there. We got a couple of stickers, Freewell stickers, that is, cool little feature to have. Stick it on your laptop or whatever, your backpack. Lifetime warranty card, um, that is really cool. And a video tutorial card. So this thing's really good right here. You scan the barcode on the front and you can find out some basics of the ISO, shutter speed aperture, blah, blah, blah. Really cool to have. I mean, you can check out some of my other videos as well. I do dive into ISO, shutter speed, aperture, frame rate, and so on and so forth. So. Um, but that is good to have. Let's hop into the lens uh, cover, lens filters itself. Now I did pop into this already, so this was really nicely packaged with a bit of plastic over the top. I will take that off just to show you guys. Nice uh, plastic case. Open it up and it's really snug sort of foam on the inside. Freewell right there. So it's a metal lens cover. So you can feel the magnetic ring is around this outside here and clicks into quite easily, which is fantastic. It's a nice snug fit. You can see a nice little purple tinge coating on the front element there, which is uh, pretty nice. And this feature, my favorite right here, you can see. 
my name there. If it will focus, Jason Morris, 67 millimeter filter thread. Now it does thread onto the UV filter on the front. So it comes with this one. Pretty simple, nice clear UV filter. Screw it onto the front. And then snap straight on. Lens cover, snap straight on. So I've done this many times before in some of my other videos. Why would you use Andy filters? Well, one of the main reasons is that you wanna cut back on the light that's hitting the sensor. So for videographers, you wanna keep that shutter speed at twice the frame rate. If you're shooting at 24 or 25 frames per second, you're looking at about 1 50th of a second. The only way you're gonna be able to do that is obviously make your aperture a lot smaller, but you want to don't want to do that, you're going to be losing a lot of depth of field. Um, so the only way to do it is to throw an ND filter on. So you chuck this on the front, boom, cuts out a lot of light. See, it's probably dark as hell in there. That is an ND 1000. Um, fantastic for slow shutter speeds. This is about 10 stops of neutral density. So you can get some really nice slow shutter speed shots. You can even use it for video, the ND1000. You've just got to bump up that ISO a little bit. Um, bright conditions outside, away you go with that. But these things just make it so much quicker to put on. Like I said, clips straight on. Oh, fantastic design. Absolutely love it. So that is it from me guys. Please hit that like button if you could. Comment below if you have any questions of this filter or filters by Freewell. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you already have and hit that bell notification so you can be notified when my next videos come out. Don't forget, link is in the description below for these Freewell filters. I'll be doing a few more videos of this in action. This was just a quick little unboxing to show you guys exactly what you would get from these things. Guys, my name's James Morris, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, let's get it.